Hey there everyone and welcome to your math workshop. We're going to have a number talk and mini lesson and then you're going to be able to go do your rotations on your own. We're going to start as always with number talk and number talk will be a little bit different today. Instead of sharing out our thinking as a class, you're just going to raise your hand um, using PlayPosit today, I guess. So you'll just enter in your answer and how you solved it into PlayPosit, and that's how you'll share your thinking, and I'll be able to see it once you complete it. So the first one we're going to do is 326 plus 225. I want you to enter into PlayPosit what you think the answer is and how you solved this in your head. Go ahead and do that now. All right, I'm gonna show you how I did it. You might've done it a different way and that is okay. I thought about it thinking with place value. So I did 300 plus 200 and I know that's 500. Then I did 20 plus 20 and I know that's 40. Then I did six plus five and I know that's 11. And then I added those together, 500 plus 40 plus 11, and I know that is equal to 500, oops, 51. So I used place value, each place value added them together, and got my final answer. You might have done it differently, but the answer is 551. Now I want to know what the sum of 128 and 257 is. Enter what you think it is into PlayPosit along with your thinking. All right, here's how I solved it. I took two from 257 and added it to 128, and that gave me 130. Then I took 130 and added on 255 because I took two to give to 128, and that gives me an answer of 385. So that's another um, way that you can solve by making a friendly number. Awesome thinking and number talk. It is time now to begin our... Um, mini lesson. So today in mini lesson, we're going to be talking about how mathematicians can measure the length of an object using metric and customary units. Yesterday, we worked with metric units and today we're going to continue working with those metric units. And we're going to look at three different lines today. And we're going to be able to write the length of that line in three different ways by the end of our video today. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Here is the first one. But before we do, I want to talk to you about how customary is used in the United States mostly, and then in metric is used in lots of other countries. And we talked yesterday about this ruler, and we said that one side is customary and one side is metric. So as we label the different sides, centimeters would be on this side because centimeters are smaller than inches. Inches would go over here. Customary goes with the inches because inches is a customary unit. And metric goes with centimeters because it is a metric unit. And lastly, millimeters are these little tiny lines in between each centimeter. So that would go on this side of the ruler. All right, now let's measure and try to write the measure of the lines in three different ways. So what I've done is I've went ahead and I've put this ruler here for us. And the one thing that's really important when using a ruler is that the start of your line starts exactly on zero. So you'll always want to move that ruler to where zero is. And zero can be different depending on the ruler. Sometimes there's a little gap. Sometimes it starts right at the edge. So you'll just have to look at the ruler to determine where zero is. Not always does, do they mark it with zero, but they always have a starting line to show you where to start. So here I've got my ruler placed. And I see that we've definitely got seven centimeters here. So we've got seven centimeters, and then we're two lines past. So I've got a seven, and I've got two. What would I write for the measurement of this line? Hmm. Well, I know that each number is seven centimeters, and I know each of the little lines is millimeters, so seven centimeters and two millimeters would be correct. Now there's actually three different ways we can write this. We can write it like this, seven centimeters, two millimeters. We could write 7.2 centimeters, or lastly, we could just write it all in millimeters, and that would be 72 millimeters, because in each centimeter, there's 10 millimeters. So if I go 10, 20, 
30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 72 millimeters. So I'm going to ask you to help me in play posit answer how long this line is. I'll make sure to move the ruler so that you can see how long this line is. Okay. So now the ruler is placed. It's at zero. I want you to type in one of the ways you could write how long this line is. You could do centimeters, millimeters. You could do all millimeters or you could do all centimeters. You try it. All right. If you said that it is 6.3, sorry, 6.3 centimeters, you're correct. If you said it's 63 millimeters, you're correct. If you said it's six centimeters, three millimeters, you, my friend, are correct. So you could have written it in all three of these ways because they are all equivalent to each other. For the very last, I'm going to ask you to write it in all three ways. So I want you to write it all in centimeters, all in millimeters, and in centimeters and millimeters. We're going to move to the very last one, and I'm going to ask you to do that on this page. I'll make sure to move this ruler so that it's in position for you. And I'll put it right at zero, and I'll twist it a little here. There we go. And I'm wondering... How could I write this in centimeters and millimeters, centimeters, and millimeters? Enter that into play posit now. Enter all three measurements that I could write to represent how long this line is. All right, let's look at it together. I know that we have six centimeters, so I'm going to write that because I'm past six. Then I have one, two, three, four lines past. Those are all millimeters, so four millimeters. Now I'm going to write it in just centimeters, six and four tenths centimeters, or lastly, 64 millimeters. All of these are correct. If you wrote all of these, awesome job. If not, think about how you might change your thinking a little bit so that you can get this the next time. All of them are right because they're all equivalent to each other. So the whole idea today is that you can use a ruler to write in three different ways how long a line is. You'll get more practice with this in small group um, and in class tomorrow. Friends, math is a hard time for us a lot of times, and I know it's because it's close to the end of the day but I need you to hold on a little bit longer and be your best self as you have math workshop today. Please remember that when you make noises, when you talk, when you are loud, you disrupt other people's learning. You do not wanna disrupt other people. Please make sure that you are being respectful, you are staying quiet, and you are doing your job the whole time today. I can't wait to be back with you tomorrow Go ahead and head to rotation one now, and I will see you all soon. Have a great rest of the day, everyone. Bye.